Welcome to this video on cropping site plans, removing colours and adding a transparency. Sometimes parts of your site plan, like title blocks, may interfere with your project, especially if you're working with multiple site plans that need to be aligned. These overlapping elements can make it harder to interpret the main content. I'll now go through the steps to crop your plans. So to remove these blocks, click on plans and select the plan that you want to edit. Click crop and then select the area that you want to keep. Once you've selected the area, click OK to confirm and the unwanted sections like the scale bar and title block have now been cropped out. You can repeat this process for all of your plans. So crop and then there we are. This just makes your site plan much tidier, allowing you to see all the relevant areas. If you ever need to undo a crop, go back to your plan and then click edit and then you can click the clear crop button. Moving on, we can look at removing colours. Kubla Cubed overlays your site plan onto the terrain. Here we have the existing terrain underneath, and here in the bulk earthworks phase, we have the cut and fill model. To ensure you can see both the site plans and the terrain beneath, removing colours is key. When a site plan is loaded, the colour white is hidden by default, allowing you to see the terrain underneath. However, there may be additional shaded areas, like this grey fill area, that obstruct the view of the model. You can see that the red and blue of the cut and fill are hidden in the grey area. To remove this colour, we click the Add Colour and then click on the colour itself that we want to remove. And there you are, it's added to the Hide Colours list. If you want that colour returned, you can just click Remove and it will return to your site plan. Then you can repeat this for any number of coloured areas that you'd like to clear. Now, some users mistakenly remove the default white colour to better see the text and lines of their site plan. However, this will then obscure the terrain entirely. If I remove the white transparency now and click OK, we get this warning message to say that we've removed the default transparency. This blocks out the ground and proposed levels and you can see that the only visible part of the cut and fill is where we remove the grey area. So the best thing to do in this situation if you want to be able to see your plan a bit better is we'll add the white colour back and then go to the colours menu at the top of the interface, select background and change the background colour to white. Then click OK. Your site plan is now visible on the background and we can see those numbers and details visible. This is more useful at the start of a project when you're adding any existing areas, but it might be beneficial to have that white background throughout your project. There is also the option to change the colours of the ground levels and proposed levels if they're too dark and are obscuring the site plan. OK, so the last thing that we're going to look at is this transparency option. At the top of the transparency settings, there is a slider for adjusting the overall transparency of a site plan. This feature is rarely needed, but can be useful when working with complex plans and aerial photographs where shading isn't in clear or discrete colour bands. Now we have this aerial image turned on, the entire site plan and model is obscured by this aerial photo which we don't want. So go back to the plans menu and adjust the transparency of this one. With the transparency turned on, we can see both the site plan and the aerial photograph providing some context of the site. If you would like more information on layering your site plans, check out our video on site plan layering in 3D for more details.